バイリンガルウェブマガジン DIG 東京のディレクターを務めるカズーこと G カズオペニアです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法へようこそ。DIG 東京は8つのカテゴリーのコラムを日本語と英語で併記しているウェブマガジンです。英語力がどんどんつく学習法は僕がこれまでの翻訳や通訳の仕事を通して培ったさまざまな英語上達についてのノウハウをレッスン形式にまとめたもので読む、書く、聞く、話すという4つのスキルが身につくと思います。ディグ東京のビジネスやライフスタイルに関するコラムのテキストを用いるのでビジネスですぐに使える英語力や旅行や海外での生活に役立つ英会話力がつきますディグ東京のテキストと YouTube の動画を使ったこのレッスンを繰り返すことで大学受験のための英語力はもちろんのこと TOEIC、TOEFL、英検などの試験のための英語力もどんどんつくことでしょう同じコラムの日本語原稿を読み上げた動画シリーズ Readings for Japanese Study もありますので、興味のある方は動画の下の説明にリンクがあります。では、このレッスンの方法について説明します。まずは、DIG 東京のテキストのページと YouTube の動画をタブや別ウィンドウを使って両方ともすぐ見られる状態にしてください。そうしたら、DIG 東京の日本語のテキストだけをまず先に読んでください。次に、英語のテキストだけを読んでください。英語のテキストでわからない英単語や熟語をネット検索を使って自分で調べてみましょう。もちろんわからない日本語があればそれもチェックしてください。次に英語のテキストをもう一度読んでみてください。これで予習が終了です。ここからこの動画によるレッスンを行います。この YouTube の動画を再生させて英語を聞きながら DIG 東京の英語テキストを目読してください。次に英語テキストを見ないでこの YouTube の動画だけを見ながら英語をよく聞いてください最後に YouTube の音声に合わせて英語テキストを音読してください以上のステップを繰り返すことで英語の表現力読解力ヒアリング力スピーキング力が確実に上達するはずです2回目以降のレッスンの際にはこの画面の下にある「もっと見る」を開いてテキストの朗読のところをクリックしてくださいすぐにテキスト本文を読み上げる部分に行けます。今回は Music and Parties 39 Online Resources for Dance Music and Clubbing Culture News コラムニストのサンダイがダンスミュージック、クラブカルチャーのニュースと音源のオンラインリソースについて書きました。楽しみながらレッスンしましょう。One Prologue Over the past several weeks, we've looked back at how electronic dance music evolved out of its 1970s disco beginnings into the EDM juggernaut it is today. Along the way, we've shined a light on important figures, key events, and classic tunes. The style of EDM that conquered the world in the 2010s is unabashedly a mainstream music genre. But it is the exception. Considered as a whole, electronic dance music and clubbing culture have long been underground scenes. As a result, media coverage and source documents are few and far between, and the outlets that do cover this subculture specifically are not widely known. This article is an overview of some of the most popular sites related to electronic dance music. 2. Mixmag, the world's biggest dance music and clubbing destination. Mixmag is a subculture magazine that was launched in London in 1983. It began as a 16 page black and white newsletter published by Disco Mix Club, a remix label that catered to professional DJs. As house music arrived in the UK in the mid to late 80s and a local scene started to develop, editor Dave Seaman gave the newsletter a facelift and turned it into a magazine covering the dance music scene and clubbing culture in general. As we covered in Music and Parties 31, the magazine played a crucial role in the development and spread of the progressive house genre. Compared to its main rival DJ Mag, Mix Mag is more geared for clubbers and consumers, and publishes content on gossip, fashion, and drug culture. In the 2000s, it partnered with an organization called Global Drug Survey to assess the usage of drugs and alcohol in the UK nightlife scene. Starting in 2010, the survey expanded its coverage worldwide. Since 2019, it appears the organization has partnered with DJ Mag instead. Mix Mag also has a weekly streaming show called The Lab, where a DJ goes into one of the Mix Mag offices to broadcast an hour long live set. With the COVID 19 pandemic, most of the recent sets have been broadcast from DJ's homes. Mix Mag was also known for its cover mount CDs that featured a mix of big name and in vogue DJs. With the decline of the CD market, the mixes are now exclusively posted online on streaming services like SoundCloud and YouTube. 
It's unfortunate that the sound quality is far inferior to CD, but getting easy access to a great selection of mixes from a range of DJs is always a plus. Here are a few of their old classics. Mixmag also publishes versions in French, German, Portuguese, Korean, Croatian, Russian, and Chinese. In 2017, it launched an online Japanese version that includes translated articles as well as original reporting. An accompanying free magazine was published quarterly for several years, but has apparently been on hiatus since June 2019. 3. DJ Mag – Living and Breathing Dance Music DJ Mag, in contrast, is more DJ and DJ culture oriented. It features industry news and reviews of equipment, and generally publishes content that is geared for people in the industry. The magazine was founded in the late 80s as Disc Jockey Magazine, and became DJ Mag after a revamp in 1991. It offers an important chronicle of the history of electronic dance music, putting Underworld on the cover in 1994, increasing its coverage of Ibiza after 1995, and featuring Fatboy Slim after he just put on one of his legendary free beach raves in Brighton in 2002. DJ Mag is best known for its annual Top 100 DJs, Top 100 Clubs, and Top 100 Festivals rankings. The Top 100 DJs list is considered an authority in the industry, insofar as it has a significant effect on bookings and how much a certain DJ is paid for a gig. The list has many detractors, who question the usefulness of what is essentially a popularity contest when a DJ is ostensibly not the star of a dance party. Since the 2000s, the list has heavily skewed towards EDM, Specifically, white male DJs, and most of the figures considered the scene's legends are nowhere to be found. The top 10 has been monopolized by a select group of mainstream DJs who have Las Vegas residencies. In response to such criticism, DJ Mag has started publishing an alternate list of top 100 DJs determined by sales on the online music store Beatport. Carl Cox has topped the list for the past two years. In spring 2016, DJ Mag launched an online Japanese version in order to elevate the Japanese dance music scene out of its domestic insularity. The site aims to bring overseas clubbing culture to Japan and help the scene rise to its vision of a global standard. DJ Mag Japan includes translations of the Top 100 DJs and Top 100 Clubs lists, and also publishes its own DJ Mag Top 10 DJs ranking under 29 and Best of Japan Clubs Ranking lists, which are determined by user voting done through the texting app LINE. It has also organized the DJ Mag Japan Creators Salon in 2018, a workshop meant to help young Japanese DJs and producers hone their music and get it heard around the world. 4. Resident Advisor, Covering the Underground Dance Music Scene Whereas Mix Mag and DJ Mag have more of a mainstream bent, Resident Advisor, or RA for short, is focused on covering the underground dance music scene. Launched in 2001 to cover the Australian clubbing scene, it expanded its scope worldwide in 2002, and now publishes articles and opinion pieces on a range of topics, as well as reviews of singles and albums. RA is perhaps best known for its extensive listings of the world's nightclubs, parties, and music festivals. It also sells tickets for some of those events. In response to events around the world being cancelled in the face of the COVID-19 pandemic, the site started a section called Streamland in April, where it maintains a list of upcoming streaming events. The site also publishes a variety of video content. Real Scenes is a series of 15 to 20 minute videos documenting the clubbing culture of some of the industry's most important cities, such as London, Berlin, New York, and Tokyo. RA Sessions is a series of live DJ mixes by some of the most intriguing DJs on the scene. RA has also operated a Japanese version of the site since 2011, which publishes both translated articles as well as a listing of Japanese nightclubs and club nights. It's been an invaluable resource for dance music fans visiting Tokyo. 5. Red Bull Music Academy – Workshops and Lectures for Aspiring Musicians The Red Bull Music Academy is a series of music workshops and festivals put on by Red Bull, the company behind the energy drink that gives you wings. The five-week event is held in a different city each year, and is comprised of events for industry people, workshop and collaboration sessions, and a program for the public, concerts, art installations, club nights, and lectures by some of the most important figures in music. The events were held in Tokyo in 2014. While the earlier editions focused mostly on DJ culture, it now encompasses a wide range of music genres. An invaluable selection of the event's lectures and interviews can be found on the Red Bull Music Academy's website, including dance music luminaries like Frankie Knuckles, Kevin Saunderson, and Jeff Mills.
as well as names like Giorgio Moroder, Brian Eno, Isao Tomita, D'Angelo, and Chairman Lewis. The one hour plus talks have something to offer not just for those looking to get into the industry, but those interested in learning something about music history. An English language transcript is also provided for each video. 6. iFlyer and Clubberia Covering the Japanese club scene Clubberia has been called a Japanese resident advisor for its coverage of dance music related news and listings of nightclubs and events. And just like RA, it releases a DJ mix every week on the Clubberia podcast iFlyer is another popular Japanese portal, offering information and tickets for music events across the country. While Clubberia has a dance music focus, the events featured on iFlyer also include indie rock and pop idol concerts. With COVID-19 keeping clubs and live music venues closed and everybody indoors, it also publishes a listing of online streaming events. The site technically has an English version, but the automatic translation is very poor iFlyer and Clubberia partnered in 2018 to offer a more robust service to its users, but people looking for information on Japanese club nights should check both iFlyer, Clubberia, and Resident Advisor, as some of the events are listed only on certain sites and not on others. 7. Beatport, the world's largest electronic music store. Beatport is an online music store offering an expansive selection of electronic dance music tracks for DJs. From house and techno to hip-hop and R&B, the majority of the music available on the site is offered in the form of DJ-friendly extended mixes. Users can choose between MP3, 320 kilobits per second, or lossless waves, or AIFF. Beatport also frequently holds sales, the perfect time for DJs to buy all the music they'll need for upcoming gigs. As the store is geared for DJs, most of the music on the site is in the form of singles, many of which include remixes. Many mix albums are also available as a package that includes a so-called continuous mix as well as all the individual tracks included in the mix. For those interested in learning how a DJ thinks or chooses tracks, check out the many DJ charts where popular DJs put together a playlist of the tracks they are currently listening to or spinning in their sets. Beatport also offers a range of stems where a track is provided in a format that allows the user to separate the different instruments from one another. And loops. Use examples that serve as building blocks for making tracks. 8. Juno Download, a UK-leaning selection of music from an eclectic range of genres. Juno Download is another popular online music store specializing in electronic dance music. While Beatport is based in America and is thus more focused on EDM and other big room type dance tracks, Juno Download is based in the UK and accordingly carries music from a more eclectic range of genres, including funk, jazz, reggae, and even 60s rock and roll. The only downside to the website is the cluttered user interface. Juno also operates a sister site called Juno Records, which sells vinyl records as well as DJ and studio equipment. You can find reissues and rare finds and even some Japanese city pop records. 9. Track Source The best source for house music Track Source is an online music store that specializes in quality house music. It brands itself as a music store with the attitude of an indie record label. In its Spotlights feature, it shines a light on some of the best labels out there producing house, including a selection of recommended tracks, as well as video interviews and DJ sets. All files are available as MP3, WAV, or AIFF files. What's more, TrackSource also presents a weekly DJ mix show called TrackSource Live, which is broadcast from over 80 radio stations worldwide and boasts 10 million listeners a month. A great way to get acquainted with the underground house sound. 10. Bandcamp, the artist-friendly online record store. Bandcamp is an online platform for independent musicians and labels worldwide to promote and sell their music. While platforms like Beatport are said to take around a 50% cut of artist sales, with the remaining 50% split among the artist and their label, Bandcamp allows artists to set their own prices for digital downloads and purchases of physical CD or records and other merchandise. The service itself takes 15% plus payment processing fees for digital downloads, 10% in the case of merchandise. And when an artist's sales exceed $5,000 for the last 12 months, that percentage is lowered to 10%. Bandcamp allows artists to offer digital downloads as MP3s, WAV, or AIFF and also offer package deals for CDs and records. While many online music stores allow users to only listen to a certain section of each track, users can listen to full tracks on Bandcamp. 
Artists can also allow their fans to name their own price. These options and more have made the store an invaluable platform not just for electronic dance music artists, but indie musicians in general. 11. Epilogue There's a range of publications and websites that cover electronic dance music from every angle, from mainstream to the underground, from commercial to independent. In this article, I've just listed a few. And while producing and performing music in a professional capacity has traditionally been for those with undeniable talent, access to a studio, instruments and staff, or a mountain of records, today the line between DJ and producer has become blurred. Never in the history of music has it been so easy to get your hands on professional-grade audio tools and loops to make music on your laptop from the comfort of your own bedroom. It's no wonder the EDM craze has coincided with the rise of young, sometimes teenage producers who have never even been to a club. Dance music was long an underground scene, providing safe spaces for worship for outsiders, gays, blacks, Latinos, and other minorities. The DJ was someone who kept the grooves going from the shadows and was not the focus of the party. But the commercial success of EDM and the development of digital tools to produce and distribute music has led to the emergence of large electronic music festivals and world-renowned DJ superstars. What's more, those DJs are no longer allowed to be just artists dedicated to the pursuit of a sound. They must now become creators with the savvy to turn themselves into brands. A crucial factor in accelerating that branding process has been the prevalence of DJ rankings and music charts. As I mentioned earlier, a DJ's bookings and pay is greatly influenced by the position on one or more of these coveted lists from DJ Mag or Mix Mag or the Beatport sales charts. With so many new tracks, remixes, and mixes being released every day, it has become impossible to listen to them all. The result is that it becomes all about getting your tracks played by big name DJs and getting that exposure in any way that you can on these platforms. Take one look at those DJ rankings and it's clear how the top spots are all taken by the group of white male EDM leaning DJs that have Las Vegas residencies. Not only does that not reflect dance music roots, it also does not reflect the current landscape of underground dance music where many of the most respected DJs are female. For many years, Resident Advisor published its own DJ rankings as a way to draw attention to the underground house and techno DJs that weren't getting any love in the DJ mag and mix mag rankings. Over time, however, as that list became one of the most popular pieces of content on RA, it also became an inaccurate representation of the true landscape of the scene. Recognizing that its charts were having the opposite of their intended effect, RA stopped updating them in 2018. The industry today is defined by a struggle to find a balance and establish a mutually beneficial relationship between the mainstream and underground scenes. Check out RA's full statement on why they chose to stop their DJ polls. Ijo Music and Parties 39 Online Resources for Dance Music and Clubbing Culture News No ego texto o rodok shimashita. Ikaga deshita ka? このコンテンツが気に入ったら YouTube のこの動画の右下にあるボタンからチャンネル登録をぜひ行ってくださいテキストの最後にある FacebookTwitterInstagram のアイコンから DIG 東京の公式アカウントに入りフォローしてくださいご意見ご要望がありましたら YouTube や SNS のコメント欄にご記入ください www.digtokyo.jp